So this is an EFT tap, tapping video for feeling super frustrated with the physical pain that you're feeling in your body. I've made several other tapping videos that would go along with this one really well for physical pain. And I also have a healing visualization for physical pain as well. And so and this is kind of a follow-up to those if you've already done those and you're just feeling super frustrated because you still have physical pain in your body. Guys, this is a process. This takes time. It took time for you to get to where you're at right now and the way that you're feeling in your body physically. This is deep stuff. Sometimes it can be a little tricky to navigate on your own, and that's where I come in. I highly suggest reaching out to someone that can help you, whether that be me, which by the way, I love helping people to heal from physical pain. Whether that's me or someone else, get some help because there is healing, but it can be a little tricky at times to do it on your own without someone else's perspective. So saying that, if you're new to my tapping, it's a little bit different than most. I'll guide you through. I'll tell you when to breathe. We're going to be breathing a lot. I incorporate the breath and I emphasize on it so much because it's so important. It helps to reset your nervous system. It helps to bring you back into your body in the moment of now. So follow along with me close your eyes because it will help you to visualize the things that are happening in your body and I want you to find a place in your body so go ahead and close your eyes I want you to find a place in your body that's really getting your attention for now and I want you to we're going to work on that place so instead of just like working on several places in your body I want you to find the one that's speaking up to you the most right now. And I want you to place your hand somewhere on your body. You can put one hand on your chest. You can put one hand on your belly. And we're just going to sit with ourselves for a minute. And I want you to have a little check-in, have a little tune-in with yourself. Find that place. Find that place that's really speaking up the physical pain within your body. And I want you to take a big breath into it as your hands are laid upon your body. And when you exhale, I want you to be, do a big yawn out. <sighs> so we want to do big yawns out, like kind of like an exhaust pipe. And I want you to be real breathy with it and make lots of noise because it helps to release trapped trauma within your body. Taking another deep breath in, finding that place that we're going to hone in on today. Big, big yawn out. One more time, big deep breath into that place that you're working on. Relaxing your whole entire body down. Relax your shoulders, relax your arms, relax your shoulders, relax your hip bones, and big yawn out. <sighs> We're going to start tapping our collarbone point with both hands, keeping your eyes closed. <clears throat> Repeat after me, and remember you can change any words that don't quite suit how you're feeling. Repeat after me and say, this pain. It's still here. I have this physical pain in my body. And I've already started the process of healing. But to be honest, I'm getting frustrated that it's still here. And I want you to say the words how I'm saying them. Put some exaggeration into it. We want to really bring this stuff up. Take a big deep breath into your body. Big yawn out. <sighs> say, yeah, I still have this pain. And it's getting so old. 
I just want it to go away already. This pain within me, I know it's trying to protect me somehow. And say, I know that it's trying to help me. But it's so aggravating. And I feel it in my body. And I may be holding on to some hurts. I may be holding on to some emotional trauma. And say, but I'm still okay as I am. I want to be okay as I am. I just want to feel safe in my body. I just want to wake up and be pain free. And yeah, I am frustrated. I'm so deeply frustrated about this. Because all I want is for it to just go away permanently. Tapping the next point on your rib cage, so it's where your ribs stick out right underneath your boobs. And this pain has done such a good job. It's been here for a long, long time. It's done a really good job of trying to protect me. And say, even though it hurts so much, I'm choosing to see things differently. I'm choosing to see that my body is just trying to give me a message. Tapping the inside of your wrist and say, well, what could the message be? And say out of curiosity, I wonder what it could be. I really do wonder. So finding that place that's painful right now, taking a big breath into it, relaxing it as you breathe into the physical pain. Big breathy sigh out. With your imagination and with your courage, I want you to see the pain in your body. I want you to see what color it is. How big or small is it? What shape is it? Is it rough? Is it bumpy? Is it sticky? Is it oily? What is it for you? What are you seeing in your body? Maybe it's a big ball of red flame. I don't know. I'm just trying to help you imagine something. It's all made up. It doesn't really matter. If you can't see anything, make it up anyway. Taking a big breath into the very center of the pain, seeing what it looks like. Big sigh out. <sighs> Tapping the outside of your hand on the karate chop point. Say this pain. Here it is. I feel it. I can see it too. It's really happening inside my body. 
And even though I'm frustrated that it's still happening, I'm still going to try and love and accept it as it is. Because honestly, it just wants my love and attention. Sending a breath back into the very center of the pain, taking notice of what it looks like. <sighs> So what color is your pain? Say it out loud. Say this pain is, what color is it? And I really feel it. This, I'm going to say red, this red pain. So say whatever color it is for you. This red pain. Here it is. Now I want you to imagine that it has eyes and a mouth. Even if you can't see it, make it up anyway. It's all in our imagination, so just make it up, whatever comes to mind. Give it eyes and a mouth. What is the expression on its face? Is it looking sad? Is it looking disappointed? Is it looking angry? Maybe it's tired. What's going on with the pain inside your body right now? Take another deep breath in to really hone in on what's happening with it. Big breathy sigh out. <sighs> Tapping the top of your head, going back into the pain, seeing its face, seeing its, its expression. How does it feel? And I want you to say it out loud. Say, this pain feels. And I really feel it. This pain in my body. Here it is. Tapping your eyebrow point. And I want you to just make up a name for the pain. So from, I'm just going to say Henry. So whatever name comes to you, first thing you hear, don't think you're doing this wrong. Just say, say a name. Give the pain a name. Breathing into it. And what did you come up with? Say the name out loud. My pain's name is, so for me it would be, my pain's name is Henry. And so I know this may seem really silly, guys, okay? But it's super helpful. We have to do silly and weird things to help ourselves get better. Who cares what it looks like? Who cares if it's goofy? Have fun with it. We're creating a little character with our pain so that you can really get to know it. And when you really get to know the pain within your body, everything can shift for you because you start to get answers. You start to get really clear answers when you start getting to know the physical hurts within your body. So taking another deep breath into what you're seeing. Big breath out. <sighs> and if you go to cough, that's really great <clears throat> because it's just a shift in energy. Tapping the outside of your eyes. So we're talking to the pain, and I want you to see its face, see the expression on its face. What color is it? What shape is it? Take notice of what's really happening with it. Maybe it's changed. It might be a different color right now. It might even have a different expression on its face. Just really pay attention to what's happening with the pain. And I want you to take a big breath underneath the little personality that we're working with, the little personality of pain. We're going to send a big breath in underneath it. Big yawn out. 
tapping underneath your eyes. I want you to do that again. And I want you to just imagine that underneath this personality of pain, the breath kind of just lifts it up a little bit in your in your body. So big breath in. Maybe it lifts up a little bit into your body. Maybe it stays right where it's at. It doesn't matter. It's all good. Big breath out. <sighs> Tapping underneath your nose. And if you're able to, I want you to put the other hand on where you're working. Only if you can reach it. If you can't, it's okay. It doesn't matter. See what's happening with it. And I want you to imagine that this big wave of light, this super powerful wave of light, just bursts in, or in and around the pain. This beautiful, glistening, glowing light energy drops in, around, surrounds it. Take a big breath in. See it swirling all around the pain. Shh. And when you're ready, big yawn out. Shh. Taking another big breath in uh, directly underneath where we're working. And big yawn out. <sighs> Maybe it stayed the same. Maybe the light, some of the light may have stuck to the physical pain that you've been imagining and working with. It doesn't matter what's happened. Just take notice of it. And in the back of your mind, we just know we are not trying to make it change. All we're doing is sending it love and compassion as best we can in this moment, even though we're super frustrated that it's still here and it's still happening in our bodies. So take a big breath in again. Big yawn out. <sighs> Tapping your chin point keeping that hand on the pain if you are able to. Say, even though I've been so frustrated with this pain, I know it's here for a reason. And I can see this pain in my body now. It's been happening for a while. And here it is. So holding the pain with your hand, tapping your chin point, see what's happening with it now. See the expression on its face now. And we're just going to start asking the pain some questions. And I want you to call the pain by its name. What name did it give you? So I'm just going to say, hi, pain. And so I want you to say, hi, and then its name. So for me, it would be, hi, Henry. I see you in here. I feel you in here. What do you need me to know right now? Breathe, feel into it, and listen with a clear mind. Just listen. Now, if you're not getting anything, sometimes this takes some practice because we're so used to saying, I don't know, but you actually do know if you drop all thought and do like an airhead where you just drop it all and listen. So you can just ask again. If you need to ask again, go for it. Take a breath into it before you ask. So it could be, I just need you to know that you're 
on the right path or I just need you to know that when you do this it hurt it makes me hurt worse anything it could be as simple as I just need you to know that I need you to show up for me more and tune in to me so what is it for you keeping your hand on that spot if you can and say to the pain, what do you need from me right now to feel safe? Breathe, drop all thought, listen to it. So this could be some, as simple as I need a hug, I need a glass of water, I need a pillow for my head, I need you to do this or not do that. It could be anything. Just listen. If you haven't gotten the answer, just ask again. Breathe into it. Pain. What do you need to feel safe in my body? Just listen. Okay, if you haven't gotten anything, just pause me. Just ask again. It's okay, taking your time with this is okay. Tapping your collarbone point with both hands. I want you to drop back down into the pain. I want you to take a big breath and send the breath to surround it completely. So as you inhale, the breath just kind of surrounds it and gives it more space. Big exhale out. <sighs> so what's the expression on its face now? Is it the same? Has it changed? And does it look a little bit more calm? It's okay if it doesn't. It really doesn't matter. and say, even though I have this pain. And even though it may not all change today, I still love and accept myself as much as I can right now. And I thank myself for showing up for this part of me. Because it's needed my love the most. And if I need to continue this, then I can repeat as often as I need. And even though I've been super annoyed with this pain, I know it's given me messages today. And it's helped me to help it. And it's just been a hurt, scared part of me. And it's not really all that scary. It's just been scared. And it's just been hurt. 
And so I'm going to wrap this remaining pane in a golden fluffy blanket so that it can feel safe in my body. So I want you to do that. Let's do it. Imagine a big, fluffy, warm, golden blanket. Breathe as you do this. Drop it in with your imaginary hands and just completely surround what needs to be wrapped up in this beautiful golden blanket. Big yawn out. <sighs> And say, there you go, little guy. Here's you a warm, safe blanket. And I want you to say this with meaning, okay? Say it with as much meaning as you can. And say, if you need to stay in my body, you can stay. and I will protect you. Because after all, this hurt part of me, it's just needed my attention all this time. and I'm just showing up for it to help it feel better in my body. So I want you to take a big breath into the pain, whatever's left of it. Take notice if it's shifted, if it's changed, if it stayed the same. Take notice of all of it. Big breath into it. Big yawn out, and as you yawn out, I just want you to imagine that this big burst of light just shines all over the pain. <sighs> Shoo! Drops down on the very top, the sides, and the bottom. Just shines this beautiful, heavenly, glowing, highly energetic light upon what's remaining of the pain. And it's this bright, bold, warm, super safe and comfy light and it's the right temperature and it's the right brightness to help whatever's happening within your body to feel even just a little bit safer because when it feels safe, you will feel safe to be in your body. And say, I love and accept myself more than before. And any remaining parts of this pain, I wrap it all in golden blankets now. Big breath in and do that. Whatever's remaining, wrap it all up in a golden blanket or many, many golden blankets. <sighs> Placing both hands on your heart. Rock your body, your body back and forth. Notice any sensations in your body. Notice any tingling, any light parts, any new sensations. Maybe you're seeing brightness in your body. Maybe you're seeing light patches throughout your body. Whatever it is for you, it's perfect. And it's all okay. You're doing this right. 
keeping your eyes closed, hands on heart. Say, I love and respect myself. And I love and respect all hurt parts of me. And I love and adore my heart. Because it's my source of trust. Trust from within. And in times of frustration, when I'm deeply annoyed with what's happening in my body, I can put my hands on my heart and find the trust that lives within it. And remind myself that I'm still okay as I am. Even with this pain. Because it's just a hurt part of me. And it needs my love the most. One more deep breath into your whole body. Just let everything go. Let the heavinesses go. See the lightness within you. See the lightness within your heart. Sending the light from your heart to spread to the rest of your body. Go ahead and deep inhale in if you haven't already. Hold the breath at the top. Feel your heart expand as big as the universe. Big yawn out. <sighs> Make noise. <sighs> Stretch up. <coughs> Cough. Move your body. Shake your butt. Do something ridiculous. I don't care what you do. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Open your eyes. How was that for you? It's probably pretty impossible to not get a shift because we did a lot of breathing. We did a lot of tuning in to what was physically going on in our body. If you want more of this one-to-one -one sessions with me, please reach out. I absolutely love helping people with physical pain because it's so cool to see how it's related to our emotions and how it can be this big massive chunk of pain and it turns into this little tiny pebble of pain. <laughs> and it's like water going over a big barge and then it goes over a million times and it becomes this little tiny pebble. So each time you show up for yourself with this type of work, the pain gets the acknowledgement that it's been craving from you, the love that it's been wanting, trying to get your attention. So please leave a comment, like, share this with someone else. And this is Kelly Renee, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.